So this is just a quick video overview of Shadow Puppet. It's one of my favorite apps just because it's quick, it's easy, and there's so much potential in capturing student voice uh, and student understanding. So Shadow Puppet uh, looks like our blue square there with the white bunny. It has nothing to do with bunnies, puppets, or shadows. <laughs> but a really powerful, quick app if you do have access to iPod Touches or iPads. So I'm going to just tap on Create New. And in my page right now, I have pictures that I've already taken about half. So I'm going to just tap on those three pictures, and you can notice they're already in my story. So I could go great straight to Next right now and start recording my voice, but I think I'm going to enhance this a little bit. And we're going to put a piece of paper at the end so I can ask a question. So I have my three pictures there, I'm ready to go. So on the bottom right, we're gonna hit that green next button and I'm ready to record. Now I wanna enhance this just a little bit. So I'm gonna use my text and write half with some of my friends in the early primary years. We're not even worrying about that. We're just getting them to talk uh, about what they know. So we're just using the A to make that a little smaller, the box to move our words around, and our little eye droplet or rain droplet there to change the color. All right, so I'm just gonna go quickly through to see that my pictures are all okay. And here I want to ask some of my friends, how would you show half? And we'll put that back in the middle, there we go. So I'm all ready to go, that only took me a few minutes, the hardest part is working through my thinking and actually capturing those pictures. So I'm actually going to start adding my voice. And we just see that nice green start button on the bottom. Our microphone beside uh, if I wasn't recording, but for us in math, we really wanna get that voice and that explanation included. Now, one thing you're gonna notice when we push the start button, it's gonna count you in, which a lot do, but we also have a little pointer here in the corner that's gonna help us as we annotate and talk about our thinking. So I'm just gonna pause for a minute. This is also a great time to say in the bottom left-hand corner there, you have an undo button, start over again. So it will count me in. And I can say, I am showing half. In this one, the red piece of Lego covers half of the whole uh, yellow Lego piece. Over here, I've shown half in that the red is half of my Lego tower. And in this one, I've been a little tricky. The red pieces are three and they're half of the whole. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six pieces all together. So my red pieces are half. How would you show half? Now I recorded straight through. You could pause in between if you really wanted to. It really just is up to you and your students and what works best. So we're gonna and we have a video, it's that easy. So I can play it back and just see uh, how my clip is working. Students could go back and re-record if they wanted to. They can also save and create another copy. Now, I, we can't hear the voice because you're hearing me talk, I'm sorry, uh, but you kind of get the gist of those annotations as we go along. So we're gonna go back with the arrow in the top corner and on this page, I have a couple options. If I say done, this is just gonna save in my camera roll. It means I can come back and access that video at any time. If it's in my camera roll, I can also get it off the iPad in many different ways. The other option that I'd like to point to your attention is just that copy link option. Copy link means I now have a link I could share. So if we're using Shadow Puppet to capture our thinking as a class, I can now share this on our school site, on our Twitter account, so we can make that learning visible to our parents as well. And that's Shadow Puppet in a few minutes.